welcome back to today's video. So happy to have you here. I am Ellie Brown from Uptown with Ellie Brown, where we talk about all things fashion, beauty, a little bit of lifestyle, a little bit of motherhood, a little bit of everything. Today we're gonna to be talking about transitioning into spring um, for your closet and your wardrobe and a few simple tips and tricks to implement um, in how you're, or in, as you're transitioning into spring. Words are hard right now. <laughs> so I'm excited to have you here. Let's just jump straight into today's video, shall we? So it's officially spring. It is pouring raining outside. So if you hear the rain, that is what you hear. And my husband typing in the background. If you're in Texas or if you're anywhere down in the South, I'm sure you're already experiencing warmer weather. You're kind of just over, you know, the dark colors and heavy fabrics and material. And how do you transition to spring? Even with like wearing, you know, long sleeves or, you know, with those chilly mornings and warm afternoons, what are some ways to transition into spring? So we're, I'm gonna try to break this down and kind of keep it simple and easy for you to understand. But the number one way to transition into spring is florals. Groundbreaking, I know. But the with the florals, okay, so you have your winter and your fall florals where tends to be some of the darker colors like the navies, the browns, the burgundies, the maroons. But this time you're kind of you're kind of thinking about more of those softer hues and colors like the yellows, the greens, the soft blues and pinks. You know, you may not see as many florals in the winter and fall as you do in spring. But one of the easiest ways to transition is to transition your wardrobe by into implementing some of that into your closet and your outfits. Number two is switching to lighter colors. Now, not to say that you can't wear white in the winter. I think the biggest distinguish between, you know, your winter whites and your spring and summer whites is the fabric, and we'll get into that in a little bit here, but just your lighter colors. Typically what you'll see in the spring and summer, the, the color transitioning into some of those soft colors, you know, the baby pinks, the soft blues, the creams, not necessarily just the softer colors. You'll see a lot of neon and a lot of bright, bold um, colors like your neon pinks, your green. Green is a very popular color um, this year. I love looking at Pantone's color of, of the season. I think they're really, really fun to, to, to look at. Okay, so I pulled up here the Pantone spring colors of 2023. So you'll see the cherry tomato, peri, peri summon, iced mango. That is a really, really pretty color. Um, your blazing yellow, tight, Titanite, Titanite, Titanite. Um, your toucan, airy blue um, colors like this is what I mean when I'm, you know, talking about those softer colors. Your electric blue lemonade, spring cro crocus. Some of these names. <laughs> uh, pink cosmos, and then more into the oyster mushroom. So you've got the lighter, a gray, the jade. Which, by the way, if you're ever stuck on like color pairing and um, maybe that's a video that we can get into a different topic of like, you know, the color, we color wheel, how to wear different colors, how to mix and match. I particularly love hopping on the Pantone, um, Pantone's website and looking at those spring summer colors and the fall winter colors. Where are you going? <laughs> Jordan in the background being silly, but I love hopping on the website and looking at the colors. Again, not something that you have to do, but if you're ever wanting to kind of, you know, spice up your wardrobe or to try something new, um, that's just a little tip if you want to, to hop onto their website and look at their colors of the season and kind of just getting an idea of how the colors pair together because they've got a lot of illustrations and images that you can kind of give you an idea on how to wear the colors together for that season. Okay, the third way that you can transition into spring is thinking about your fabrics. So, you know, your winter whites, for example, a, a way to master the winter white in winter um, is thinking about thicker, heavier fabrics 
like wool, your knit sweaters, etc. For the spring and summer, the way to nail that that spring summer white is thinking about fabrics like linen. I was trying to think of the fabric name and I can now for the life of me cannot remember the fabric name. <laughs> but again, when you're transitioning into spring, you're gonna think about like your, instead of the, the heavy cotton, um, maybe even swapping out the cotton for your hemp fabrics. Um, you can, you're starting to see a little bit more of that. You think about what's the other fabric here? Um, it's seersucker, I think. Seersucker is, is the name of the, the, the fabric. That's a Another fabric that you can wear towards the spring and summer that tends to be a little bit lighter as well. So yeah, so uh, one of the ways to transition your sp your winter into spring wardrobe is just by swapping out some of that fabric. You're going for lighter, thinner, a little bit more breezy type material and fabrics. And then finally, another way to transition into spring um, is just by light layering. So, you know, you can implement things like your lighter colors, adding florals, swapping out the fabrics and your layering pieces. Like for example, instead of grabbing a wool blazer, grabbing a linen blazer, thinking about grabbing your trench coat and kind of layering with light pieces that you can still layer but again and you can still kind of have some of that warmth again for those chilly mornings but as the day gets warmer or uh, you know as the temperature rises you can kind of like just remove the layers you can take off the blazer and you still have something underneath and you're comfortable etc so thinking about layering in light ways with light pieces just those are some simple ways to transition into spring that can give you that feel for like you know again Again, this the, that spring you know just that spring feeling that you feel like Easter the flowers are are blooming and you want to transition into lighter prettier more feminine pieces for spring so those are just some simple ways and some simple 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 tips and tricks and how to transition your wardrobe and things to think about that how you can implement as you transition into spring in warmer weather. Anyways, what do you think? What are your thoughts? What are some ways that you transition into spring and summer? Do you love florals or are you just, you know, completely against florals? <laughs> Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not and hit that little bell so you can get notified when the next video goes live. But I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you here soon. Bye.